So, yeah, AI. I've said it before. AI could be a problem. Uh, it might not be a problem. But if we have anything to say about it, it's probably going to be a problem. Because if we're doing the things that this article is claiming that we're doing, well, we're probably going to create some sexist and racist AI. Here it goes. This is from The Guardian. I'm going to read this article here and uh, oh, see what you think. We're all the godmothers of AI. Women's voices are not being heard. And this is by a, a Luba. This is what her name is, Luba. Yeah, I'm already judging you. We're heading towards the best world ever, said Sam Altman in an interview earlier this month, just before the saga of his firing and rehiring as OpenAI's chief executive. As an expert on gender equality and news, this statement made me wonder whose world was heading towards well, whose world was heading towards being the best ever. As it turns out, the one the Altman team is crafting is largely devoid of women. My analysis amid the, the furor around his dismissal revealed fascinating insights. For example, of the 702 out of 750 employees who signed the letter demanding Altman's reinstatement, more than 75% were men, a gender imbalance that matches that identified in AI teams in McKinsey's The State of AI in 2022 report. Okay, so I, this article is already starting on this basis, which is funny. But anyway, so let's keep going. After Altman's return, OpenAI's newly established board of directors is now made up of exclusively white men situation compounded by male dominance among executives. Where are the voices of female AI leaders and experts in coverage of this most dramatic of Silicon Valley stories? Women's role in crafting our AI-infused future and shaping the news around uh, uh, generative AI has concerned me for some time. From analyzing data and conversations with experts, I realized that whether as developers, news editors, or AI experts, women are largely absent from the AI world. Well, that's... I think that's a that's a thing in tech that you know the predominance for male for males to go into that that you know line of work or that you know, that sector it's it's just it's just predominantly male anyway so why would you expect that imbalance to be different in this case but you know in this in this case I kind of agree with this point because I think there should be equal representation if you're developing AI that could eventually get to the point where, you know, where it was, you know, it was AGI, right? Like it's its own thing. And if it's, if it's kind of getting, it's getting all this information skewed from one sort of source and it's not getting a sort of a balanced, uh, a balanced information that might hurt. It's, if it were to develop like a, uh, its own biases that might actually hurt it. So I, I don't know, but what do I know? I'm kind of full of shit. Okay. Uh, generative AI, AI relies on processing vast data sets of text, images, and video, all of which have featured overwhelmingly more men than women in the past. This inherited male bias, mirrored in the news, combined with the structural gaps women face in society today, results in a narrative about GAI's risks, limitations, opportunities, and direction shaped primarily by men. Yeah, so this is a this sounds like a feminist writing this article, but you know, again, I agree with some of the gist of what you say here. Uh, AKA's pronoun analysis of GDELT Project's global online news database shows that so far this year, men have been quoted 3.7 times more frequently than women in news about AI in English-speaking nations. According to the most recent Global Media Monitoring Project, results only 4% of news stories focusing on science, technology, funding discoveries, and developments centered around women. Again, this is because they're not, it's predominantly men in this thing. So I understand maybe seek out more women's opinions on it, but you know, you're you're taking you're skewing data here when you're throwing this out there. An assessment by AKAs of of tech news editors in April shows that in Britain and the US only 18% and 20 23% respectively were female. Men are between three and five times more likely than women to be deciding what constitutes a technolo a technology story. Concern has been expressed about the long-term threats that AI poses to humanity. But what are the immediate risks of the world reflecting predominantly men's perspectives? We must urgently seek to intercept the damaging absence of women and the lack of understanding of their needs, worries, and experiences related to AI. Okay, according to the 2022 Q Research Data or Center Data, U.S. women are between 8% and 16% more concerned than men about a variety of AI developments, from diag diagnosing medical problems to performing repetitive tasks. Okay, so this is just going to keep going on that way this article. 
So I'm just going to stop there because uh, I read, I kind of sifted through the rest of it and it's more of the same. Uh, just that she's making the point, I think, that she's trying to make in a long-winded sort of feminist, feminist tone here is that women are a little bit underrepresented in this space, which could skew uh, AI if it were to develop um, into AGI. It could skew its bias, be a little bit more uh, centered towards men. But I honestly don't think that's really the problem. I think we have to make sure that a AGI, their bias aren't against humanity and it doesn't see us as a threat. I think that's more the worry than some male female dichotomy going on there. So, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think we're a little ahead of the horse here on this one anyway.